All right, what's up, everyone? So today we are doing something a little bit different. We're doing, we're gonna have a little fun. So you've seen the videos where you try to run like different stuff, you know, in your motor, and you watch them fail, or you know, or run on them. So what we're doing today is, first of all, we got ourselves a fresh unit. So we finally, finally pulled the trigger, got ourselves a fresh pressure washer. I wanted a Honda one, so we actually snagged that one for a good deal. Good old 3300 3, uh, PSI, so that, that's going to do the job for us. Now, what we got over here is our old Briggs and Stratton, and she's been she's been good to us, okay? And uh, actually, it worked. It's been about eight years old, and it, it worked for us for you know the whole time. And it was actually my fault. I broke the pump while I was you know rolling it down some stairs instead of picking it up and it broke off the bottom uh, valve on the on the pump so after that we kind of looked into replacing the pump but you always hear like it's not worth it plus I didn't want to do all that work and then the gun doesn't work or the the hose is uh, frozen from over winter because we didn't winterize anything so this thing sat for the last uh, sorry last two years and we actually just fired it up and the thing runs so it uh it might be a little gunked up in the car we're in the in the flywheel a little bit um so it might have a slight you know miss in the ignition but the motor's all there internally like so it'll be a good test for sure so i will fire it up for you guys so you can hear it with the oil in it and then we're gonna we're gonna drain it we're gonna put some good old vegetable oil in there you know will your engine run on vegetable oil you know for you know temporarily we'll we'll see so I guess how I'm going to judge it is that we're going to, we'll start it up for you guys and then we're going to drain the oil and then we'll, uh, we'll put this in there and we'll let it run for five minutes. And if it makes it for five minutes, so we're going to call that a, a success, you know, obviously long term, it wouldn't, you know, it wouldn't work, but you know, we're looking temporarily if you were in a pinch and for some reason had to use vegetable oil as a lubricant in your engine, would it make it? So, obviously this motor probably runs at a low 3,000 RPMs, I would assume. You know, it's not exactly a high revving motor or anything like that. But, it'll be a good way to, to test and see, you know, how it works. So, let's get this thing started up. Let you guys hear. Actually, I don't even have to, I don't have to prime it. Just pull it. I think still runs really good you know and if I had a different use for the motor maybe we wouldn't be doing this but you know the pump being bad there's just nothing for us to do with this motor but maybe just have a little fun with this video and see what happens so if it does survive on the vegetable oil then we'll move on you know we'll see uh, we'll see what else we can get in this thing but let's drain that oil and then we're gonna get at her so draining this oil is fun because the seal here on the gas tank is no bueno anymore. So every time I tilt it, we're pouring gas all over the place. And uh, I don't really know how much uh, oil we actually had in this thing. So we're definitely gonna tilt this thing around. Just to show you guys, I'm gonna, we're gonna make sure everything drains out. Set you guys up right there. Such a, oh golly. Such an inconvenient, there you go spot to get oil out of this thing that wasn't a lot of oil and I'm pretty sure that's definitely our engine oil plug you can see it's coming out of there oh boy she might <laughs> she might run better on vegetable oil just because she'll be topped off but we're gonna let it drip for a little bit just so we can get as much of that stuff out of there as we can. And then uh, we'll button it up, we'll top it off with some vegetables, and uh, we'll let her eat. Oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, so just to show you guys, here's the dipstick, totally clean. Stick it in there. Let's see how much clean. Time to add our vegetables. 
All right, so let's get our uh, let's get our lubricant in there, and we'll see uh, what happens. The big funnel. We don't need that big of a funnel. Use that guy. All right, so we are using. Ooh, things high in calories. Fat percent, 18. No protein. Doesn't sound very healthy for the motor. Let's see what kind of, what's it look like? Ooh, look at that though. That looks like good oil. Now how What is this? This is 1.42 liters. So I would say let's put a half in there and we'll check our level. Should take about a quart, I would think. Or a liter, whatever. So let's try that out for size. Let's see what we get. So clear, it's so hard to see. Oh yeah, I think we got more than enough in there. So I'll show you guys. Probably won't be able to see it on camera, but if you can see that, you can see, definitely got more than enough. You'll probably be able to see a little bit more color after we run, because obviously there's still a little bit engine oil left in there, so, yeah, this is interesting. We're going to see what, see what happens. Oh man, she's a, she makes a good polish too, cleaning up real nice. Definitely pretty watery. I would call that a, definitely a zero weight uh, oil for sure. All right, let's get our camera set up and we're gonna we'll run a timer for five minutes and we'll see what happens. All right, we got everything set up. We're gonna use our watch, as you see, boom. All right, we got that set up, ready to go. GoPro's there, oil's in there. So once we pull, that motor, we're gonna hit the, the start button on this thing, and we're gonna see how long it, how long it lasts. All right. So far, so good. She always, she always sounds like that. Ooh. Completely normal. She's supposed to sound like that. Honestly, she sounds she's really ripping, it sounds like. No, I didn't check. We might have spilled all our gas out too. Oh man. A little stopping now. We gotta we gotta let her go. I don't know if she's gonna make it, boys. She's uh, she's sounding pretty rough, but she kind of sounded like that before a little bit. Let's see. Whoa. I'll tell you guys, it don't smell like fresh rice yet, but I'm waiting till that motor gets hot and it starts smelling real good in here. No, no, she's not smoking at all. Seems to be holding up pretty well. Actually smoothing out a little bit. Two minutes. All right, now it's starting to smell like french fries over here. You can smell, it's getting warm now. No smoke yet though. Man, 
Man, does she not sound like she's running smoother? I, I think the vegetable oil is like starting to marinate all the engine components. It's starting to sound really good. Boom now. Good on. Look at it. It's ripping. All right, she's still running good, miss. Ooh, she might make it. She's gonna make it. This sounds good. I'm impressed. We're almost there. Almost there. Come on, girl, one more minute. One more minute. Either that says something about the old Briggs and Stratton really putting in the work there, or vegetable oil, not too bad. I mean, uh, it looked like it was, you know, not a bad lubricant. And uh, obviously, our engine just ran for five minutes, wide open throttle, you know, which it's still a governor, you know, governor throttle or whatever. But uh, that's probably about, I would say, around 3,000 RPMs. The only thing I do wish that I had to help with these tests a little bit. Just to see if there's a difference would be uh, having a temp gun so we could see where the motor's at in temperature running the different lubricants. Not saying that it would make a difference. Maybe it would, being if the motor started, you know, not having as much lubricant, meaning it's making more friction in the parts, that would build more motor heat maybe. I don't know. Maybe not. I could be wrong. I guess maybe if it's making that much friction, it would be probably grenading pretty quick. So... Just kind of fun. Kind of fun little side project. But, here's where we need your guys' help. I'm going to need you to get in those comments, okay? I'm going to really need you to get in those comments. And put down what next lubricant we should do. And, uh, granted, the next one we do, we are going to try to... I was actually... I, I was wondering if we were just going to do a, a complete fail right off the bat. But it seems like she lasted, okay? So... We want to do something comparable to vegetable oil next time, and obviously we can get down to the, the sketchier stuff after we get, you know, a couple in. But I still want to hear what your ideas are. You know, should we go with the good old cannoli oil, you know, an olive oil, maybe uh, I thought about doing some chocolate syrup, um, some other type of, you know, you know, we could do uh, <laughs> uh, lamp oil. <laughs> That, that would be good. A lamp oil. We could do. We could do a premix. We could try doing using your premix. Got some stuff over here. We got. We got plenty of premix. Do use premix for our oil, which actually I think would work pretty well, especially if vegetable oil worked. Could use stable oil. Will your engine run off stable as motor oil? I don't know. Or, ooh, how about this one? I will do this one. What do you guys? We can get the WD-40 that comes in the big container. Because WD-40, right, has so many different, you know, as far as what it's good for, how long will our engine run on WD-40? That'd almost be a good last video. And instead of just being five minutes, just filling the tank up and just letting the thing eat. That would be pretty cool, actually. I got the guy to show you guys here. About you. But let's uh, see what it uh, looked like in here. In here. Just clean. Can you guys focus on that? Look at that. Clean. Let's see if we zoom in. There we go. There's the money shot. So you guys could see it right here. Ooh, it's definitely thin. Not a... <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> maybe, uh... Oh, it wasn't maybe, uh, as great as I thought. I don't know. It, it ran off it. Should we, should we test it real quick and make sure it fires back up? Yeah, let's just do a quick fire up. Just to make sure she's good. Ooh. Oh yeah, she's good. Now the only other thing too, when I'm, I'm uh, gonna put the next uh, whatever and stuff. <sighs> Vegetable oil. <laughs> smells like french fries. Smells like the county fair over here, man. I'm gonna have people like rolling through looking for uh, the old uh, fry pickle stand. So we'll see what, uh, 
We'll see what happens. But I don't know. Maybe if uh, when I go to switch the next one, should I pour motor oil back into it? Just to cycle it through and then drain it back out. Just so every time we do this, we do have kind of a consistent base. You know, there is probably still... Though I would have expected to see engine oil on the dipstick or some discoloration if there was, you know, a decent amount in there. So obviously we are draining a good portion of the oil out. So what do you guys think? Should we just kind of let her eat and just keep on, uh, you know, pouring new stuff in there? Or should we put another cycle of engine oil in it and then try our next stuff? So hit me in the comments what we should do next. I appreciate you guys watching and we'll see you later.